welcome to the simplified physics in this lecture we'll discuss about the dimensional analysis and this is the very first lecture on the dimensional analysis let's discuss from the dimensions of a physical quantity what is the dimension of physical quantity you are familiar with the physical quantity those quantities which can be measured are called physical quantities there are hundreds of thousands of physical quantities physical quantities and physical quantities involves the base quantities or base units so units of a physical quantities can be expressed in terms of the base units there are seven base units what is the dimensions dimension of a physical quantity is simply defined as defined as the power to be raised raised to the base quantities involved in the physical quantities power that to be raised in the base quantities that is involved in the physical quantities and let's uh, begin from the base quantities the very first base quantity is length base unit of the length is meter m and cgs unit of the length is centimeter and dimension of the length is dimension of the length is l let's go for the second fundamental quantity mass yes i unit of the mass is kilogram and its dimension is m third base quantity time yes i unit of time is second and in terms of dimension or simply dimension of the time is t electric current yes i unit ampere and dimension a next physical quantity temperature base quantity temperature SI yes, unit of the temperature is Kelvin and its dimension is K amount of substance mole 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 SI yes, unit of the amount of substance is mole and dimension is MOL luminous intensity candela SI yes, unit as a candela and dimension is CD. These are the fundamental quantities with their units and dimension. And any physical quantity expressed in terms of the these base quantities. These base quantities. Let's uh, begin the next subtopic. What is our dimensional formula? We have just discussed the base uh, units, base quantities, and their dimension a moment before so any physical quantity can be expressed in terms of the base quantities that is simply called dimensional formula what about the physical quantities we can express in terms of the base quantities that is simply called dimensional formula let's see an example velocity and to determine the dimensional formula we may have an idea about the formula or the unit of the given physical quantity if we know the unit or formula for the given physical quantity quantity we can easily determine the dimensional formula for the given physical quantity let's see uh, begin from the velocity velocity is simply defined as displacement by time velocity equals to displacement by time and what about the dimension of the displacement dimension of the displacement is l and dimension of the time is t so dimensional formula of velocity is b equals to l t minus 1 in terms of mass length and time in general dimensions involved in the physical quantities are mass length and time sometimes under quantities so generally expressed in terms of mass length and time so in velocity there is no involvement of the mass so you can we can write m as a 0 l 1 t minus 1 this is the dimensional formula for the velocity and dimensional formula is enclosed within the square bracket so dimensional formula for the velocity 
A C M zero L one T minus one. What about the dimensions involved in the velocity? Now let's see. Base quantity mass the dimension involved in the mass is zero. Base quantity one. So base quantity l, l that is length and power raised on it is one and base quantity t power raised on t is minus one. So these are the dimensions on the velocity. So dimension of a velocity is zero in mass. Is it zero in mass? Obviously, and one in length and minus one in time. So velocity has the dimension zero in mass, one in length, and minus one in time. And as a whole, this is called dimensional formula of velocity. Let's see second example. Let's see for the force. Force equals to mass into acceleration. Basic formula or we can say definition also basic definition mass into acceleration and acceleration is defined as change in velocity per unit time mass has the dimension once again m velocity just we have discussed it's a l t minus one and what about the time obviously t so dimension dimensional formula for the force is m1 l1 t minus 2 so what about the dimensions involved in the force one in mass one in length and minus 2 in time so we can say m1 l1 t minus 2 as a dimensional formula of the force and dimensions of a force is one in mass one in length and minus 2 in time more examples we'll discuss further okay let's see the dimensional equation there are different physical equations like f equals to ma b square equals to u square to as and so on let's see for uh, what is the dimensional dimensional equation any physical equation such as f equals to ma b square equals to u square plus 2as and so on such equations can be expressed in terms of dimensional formula a physical equation expressed in terms of dimensional formula is called dimensional equation any physical equation which are any physical equation which are expressed in terms of the dimensional formulas are called dimensional equation let's see an example Consider a physical equation b square equals to u square plus 2as a very familiar linear equation of motion e equation of motion and b means it's a velocity final velocity u means initial velocity e is the acceleration s yes, is the displacement and we are family uh, just we have discussed before the velocity its dimension is l t minus 1 obviously for b and u both of them are velocities so l t minus 1 yes is a displacement displacement whatever displacement distance length thickness whatever all of them have same unit as a unit meter and dimension l and a is the acceleration acceleration velocity by time so the dimensional equation will be let's uh, begin for the very first term that's a l t minus one for the dimension of the b square as it is equals to l t minus one once again it's a u dimension of, dimension of a u and b and that both of them are velocities so l t minus one once again square plus two as it is and what about the a it's a l t minus one by two that is l t minus two for the acceleration and for the displacement l this is a dimensional formula dimensional equation sorry for that it's a dimensional equation and this is the physical equation so any physical equation expressed can be expressed in terms of the dimensional formula that is called dimensional equation some more examples we'll discuss further and thanks for watching
Thanks for watching and more for more in a next lecture we will discuss some more example with the application of the application of dimensional analysis. Thanks for watching.